Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove a lot of the scratches I get from going off-roading. I recently took a trip to Otai Mountain and it was so, so much fun, but I guess I didn't realize that a lot of the offshoot trails had lots of branches and lots of shrubbery, which left my truck pretty scratched up, actually more than I expected. But obviously off-roading is a ton of fun and that's what these trucks are built to do, so I wouldn't trade it for anything. But at the same time, it does kind of suck that my truck, which is pretty new, has its paint kind of scratched up and and I hate to admit it, but I do really like when my truck looks like a pavement princess or it looks like it just drove off the dealership lot brand new. So in today's video, we're gonna do our best to restore the scratches so that the paint looks brand new. If you've watched my vlogs before, this is not the first time I've had to remove scratches from my truck from tree branches before. So I do have kind of a method of removing these scratches. I'd say it really only works on really light scratches, not really deep ones that cut through the paint and actually get to like the base panel. So I wanted to share this with you guys today just in case you were interested, but just know, by any means, I am not a professional at all. This is just from personal experience and from talking to different people, but let's get into it. guys before we get started on the scratch removal I wanted to show you guys some of this damage but actually it's not as bad as it looks I'm sure if this has happened to your truck before you're familiar with it but sometimes when branches or bushes scratch up against your truck they don't actually scratch into the clear coat they just leave a layer of chalk so to speak so these all actually probably aren't scratches they're just like chalk marks so I'm not gonna rub it too much because I don't want to rub the dirt into my clear coat and further scratch it but if you see that I wipe my finger all these scratches disappeared because they're just chalk marks. But there are some places on my truck where I'm not sure if you can tell, but for example, this little scratch down here is actually a scratch and not just a chalk mark because you can see when I wipe my finger away, there's actually a scratch in the clear coat that won't just come off from me rubbing the chalk away. So scratches like this, we're gonna have to actually treat. Also lastly, I do wanna mention on areas like the fender flares that aren't actually painted and are just like black plastic pieces. Obviously chalk marks will just come off, but any actual scratches to the fender flare itself that are like indented, we're not gonna be able to remove because it's plastic material. But that's why the off-road and the TRD Pro models come with these black fender flares because that's exactly what they're meant to do, protect from stuff like this. But like I said, this is all just a byproduct of off-roading and it's actually not too hard to remove these fender flares and replace them if needed. I might do that in a later video because mine are starting to get beat up, but for now they don't look that bad. I don't really care because that's what this truck is supposed to do anyways and they're probably going to get worse even if I get a new pair. So we're not going to be able to fix scratches that are deep into the fender flares, but oh well. Now before we actually attack the scratches on my truck, I'm going to actually do a touchless rinse and a touchless wash. And the whole reason for that is because obviously like the truck is just super dirty to start out with, but also it's because we don't want to take any of the existing dust and rub it into the clear coat and then further scratch up the truck. I'm going to take my pressure washer and some car foam soap. And by the way, every product I use, I'm going to leave in the description box down below just in case you're interested, but I'm going to take those things and we're going to go do a touchless wash of the truck.
All right, so I just finished the touchless wash and rinse of the Tacoma, and at least if you're looking far away, you can see that the touchless wash and rinse basically got out all those scratches, which were, like I said, just chalk marks. So actually what's really great is on the driver's side, there are literally like no visible scratches. I think there's like three or four in total, but I had to look really hard to find them. So I remember there was one near here. They're like right here, they're so, so faint. Then if we like go down here, I think there's a couple over here. But like I said, they're so hard to spot. And to be honest, I think there was like one more up here, but I can't even find it right now. So I'm not gonna really worry about this side, but the side that did get pretty nicked up was the passenger side, which actually makes more sense because when I was off-roading, I was probably more cognizant of my side, the driver's side, and less cognizant of the passenger side. So that's the side that got the bad end of things. So I guess first off, starting from the front passenger side, there's a pretty gnarly scratch in the clear coat right near the headlight and i think this branch or whatever it was also like followed this way you can see that that scratch is pretty big it actually scratched up a little bit of the headlight too but obviously can't fix that but it's just so small don't care about it another notable one is on the front passenger door that one's also pretty glaring and then on the bedside probably the most annoying one that we're gonna have to take out just because it's super long is one that kind of starts here and extends all the way up the fender to over here. And then there's another small one here near the TRD sticker. All of these scratches aren't actually through the paint, they're just through the top clear coat, which is good because we can get rid of them. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start out with this scratch right here near the headlight on the passenger side front. It's a pretty gnarly one. It can't just be removed by, you know, wiping it off. So it's an actual scratch, not just a chalk mark. And the first product I'm gonna use on it is some polishing compound. Now this polishing compound I have is just in like a generic touch-up bottle, but basically what's inside here is a polishing compound that basically kind of acts like really, really fine sandpaper. And essentially what we're gonna be doing is using some of this on a microfiber cloth and actually sanding or polishing away this scratch to make it kind of match in with the clear coat. So I didn't buy this exact bottle. I actually picked it up at my local auto body shop, Perfection Auto Body in San Diego, California. I absolutely love them, but they basically gave this to me because this is what they recommended for scratches like this. If you wanted to buy a polishing compound similar to this, I think the closest equivalent would be Meguiar Scratch X. I'll leave a link in the description for it. It's basically the same thing. So what I just did was put a tiny bit of polish on a very clean microfiber towel. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buff out this scratch. Now I'm applying light to medium pressure. We might have to go over this multiple times. You definitely don't wanna go too hard because like I said, this stuff is kinda like sandpaper. And then with a clean side of the microfiber towel, we're gonna just wipe away the polish. And after doing one pass, you can see that the scratch is still there, but it's much, much less noticeable. So we're gonna do another pass using the exact same process. And I'm not sure if you can tell on camera, but after pass number two, the scratch is basically gone, but I can still kind of see it in person. So I'm gonna do another pass. Now, I'm not sure if the camera can see anything, but in person, I'm tilting my head around to see if I can pick up any more reflection, just to see if I miss the spot. If anything, it looks much, much better than before. The exterior itself is still super glossy, same as before, and it looks fantastic. So that's basically what the polish remover does. And also you don't want to obviously overdo it because we are basically sanding away. Once you're done polishing, you don't need to do any more. So the last thing I'm gonna do just to protect the outside layer and kind of fill in what we sanded is I'm gonna use some Meguiar's paste wax and an applicator and I'm just gonna put that on the surface just so there's a layer of wax. So that scratch didn't cover too much of an area so we're just gonna put wax wherever that area was and as you can see I got a little bit on the headlight. You want to try to avoid getting them on the headlight or these plastic black pieces because when the wax dries, it'll harden and you can really see it and they're just harder to take off. So you wanna avoid that if you can. 
All right, and now we're just gonna wait for this wax to dry and kind of haze up more. All right, so now that I've given the wax about 10 minutes to dry, and I don't know if it looks a little bit more hazy on camera, but it looks a little bit more hazy to me, I'm going to simply just wipe it off. Take some off the headlight, which I wasn't supposed to do in the first place. And now this little section is all good to go. No more scratch. All right, now we're gonna tackle this scratch, which is probably the biggest one. As you can see, it goes all the way here and it actually extends past the camera frame using the exact same method as before. I just did the wax application all at once for the driver's side of the truck just to save time after polishing. Waxing is an optional step, but it's great because it'll fill in kind of where we sand it off and make the truck even shinier and looking like brand new. All right, so the wax just came off of the truck. And remember we had that huge scratch down here, I can't see it. I mean, this looks like a mirror. Doesn't even look like we went off-roading until you look at the beat up fender flares. But otherwise, it looks really, really good. All right guys, that's gonna complete today's video. Thank you so much for checking it out. As you can see, with the exception of some of the plastic pieces on my truck, we got the paint looking brand new and nice and clean. I think in total, I spent about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes on the passenger side, just cause there were so many scratches and they were pretty, pretty deep. And then on the driver's side, I think I only spent about like 20 minutes. So just know it'll take a little bit of elbow grease, but eventually you can get your truck looking brand new regardless of your trail scratches. Also, I do wanna remind you guys that if you use a polish or Meguiar's Scratch X or something similar. You don't want to be using it as part of your routine for cleaning your truck because like I said, it is kind of like a sandpaper and you are taking off part of the clear coat. So you only want to do it when you get light little scratches in the clear coat like I did. For now, we're going to keep the fender flares just as they are unfortunately, but some of you guys on Instagram have been telling me to wear them as a badge of honor, so... I guess there's that. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hoped it helped you guys. If you wanna connect more with me, you can follow me on my Instagram. I post more live updates and what I'm doing on my truck on there. I am at Chloe Kuo Taco. Thanks again for watching and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.